TCU wins their game against Cal. Oh, and this game stressed me the hell out. 34 to 32. Where did this Cal offense come from? Like what, I haven't seen this? Cal play this good of offense if you combined all the best plays that they've had for the last two and a half years. It, it was unbelievable. Uh, Cal's points per scoring opportunity, they had four. They put up 21 points in those scoring opportunities, 5.25 per opportunity. They they looked good. TCU it, could not Cal get, did look really good. TCU could not create any kind of havoc on defense. And, and this was a game between Justin Wilcox and, and Gary Patterson. And we put up a total of 66 points. I know. Like, what in the now, world? I would say you defensive scores did come. Like one of oh, those yeah. one of yeah. those touchdowns from from Cal was a gimme like four yard pick six that was just atrocious by TCU. TCU got down and then that offense kind of flipped the switch and they they kind of got 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 rolling for a bit and then it slowed down. It as much as I hated this game because I lost money on it. I was really proud to see Wilcox and the boys fight like that. I didn't want to see it because I really like TCU, and I think TCU could be really good. I would like next week to know that this is not a fluke and to think Cal might have found something. I, I do wonder about that. They So Chase Garbers, who we've all kind of made fun of, they cannot get the ball down the field, all that kind of stuff. Yes. Yeah, uh, 16 out of 27 passing, 309 yards, two touchdowns. Got the ball down the field, Gary. Ooh. Yeah, I, it's I'm amazing. Shocked. It's it's when when you've never seen something before, it it, it kind of surprises you. By the way, Zach Evans, massive, massive in this game. Twenty two carries, one hundred eighty three yards. That's eight point three a clip, and he had a touchdown. I, I was just about to say he's almost averaging a first down every time he touches the ball. Yes, I mean he was that's, unbelievable. That's kind of um, sick. It it's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So yes, the TCU situation here, I, I thought this was going to be a slugfest because remember, it was just like three years ago. It was the Cheez It Bowl, like twenty eighteen, where it was ten to seven. And yes. they had like nine turnovers it, in the game. It's it's almost like it's 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 like we're living in bizarro world. Yes. Gary Patterson and and Coach Patterson, Coach Wilcox went together and they and they busted like seventy on this on the total. Yes. I'm that's crazy. I, I, I would have bet, bet my life if you gave me the total that finished this. I'd have bet my life that they wouldn't touch that number. No, I, I'm the same way. I am the no, same way. Yeah. I just I, now I will tell you this. Uh, by the way, we'll we'll close out that game with this because I still have eh, two more that I want to hit. Cal now under Justin Wilcox, ten and one against the spread as an underdog. I, I ain't betting against him again. I'll tell you that. So I I didn't I didn't pick the game. I didn't feel good about it because of that stat. They, they were nine and one against the spread in it. But, yes, most certainly. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.